What's up guys? We're back today and this is the last 15 in the series of the subwoofer shootout for around $200 price range for 15. Now this is the American Base XR and we got two of these here. These are the dual forearm versions. We're going to run everything the same as before. If you haven't watched the last two videos, I did the Audio Legion Maximus, the Soundstream T5, and the Hyphonics BRW 15s. Check those out. So this is the last one in the series. So nothing new. These have been around for a while. I have the 12s. I really like them. Um, this has like a natural rubber surround. It's one of the only subs I've seen that has like a natural rubber surround. <clears throat> what I like about that is it requires less break-in than a hard foam or whatnot. Full carbon fiber dust cap and you have your rubber trim magnet bumper nice looking it looks like it's like a zinc plated back plate and it's got venting really nice looking basket I love this basket design <clears throat> lots of voice coil venting so you can see, see there which is nice Nice copper coil, <coughs> heavy pulp paper cone. Now it has round tinsel leads. They're not flat, but they are pretty decent sized round. And the weird thing is they're not stitched in. It looks like they're just glued on each ridge because there's nothing on the other side. So they're not woven, but they're like kind of glued, adhered to the... Uh, to the spider and oops there is no spider hold down ring which I mean I'm not worried about that I've had there's a lot of subs that don't have those so but this one doesn't so that my only gripe about these right off the bat is just like the 12s that I have it's really cool they put the terminals all on one side so then you don't have wires you know running across the back it makes it easier but they're too small they're like single 10 gauge so just like my 12s you can't even get you know dual 12 gauge in there so you end up having to like finagle it I wish they would have put larger you know terminals on here but that's my only gripe so far this is really heavy duty doesn't feel flimsy like it's gonna break they are nice just a little bit small so there's the back of them. I will throw up the post bench break in TS parameters now so you can check those out. They don't give you the full TS parameters on these for some reason, which quite a few subs don't. I don't know why, but here's the TS parameters after a short bench break in. And this is also the weight. I'll throw the weight up on the screen now. So they're pretty beefy subs. <clears throat> pretty nice looking. Um, I like the 12s a lot. They're one of my keeper subs. So I can't wait to hear what these things sound like. So let's go get them hooked up and see what they do. Alright guys, got these two American Base XR15s hooked up. All these 15s I'm going to be doing recently, I'm all going to start them off on this 2400 certified Hyphonics amp 2900 dynamic so I can see what they do because um, I'm right now I'm only running these prefab boxes which actually are tuned pretty good 35 Hertz four cubic feet each um, but later I will go ahead and put these in my custom boxes when I finish them this spring and I'll run them on a Teramp Smart 5 all these 15s so if you see my recent videos of the 15s eventually I'll do whole videos of I'm gonna do them first on basically you know 2500 29 dynamic and then I'm gonna do them all on a smart 5 in my custom boxes so stay tuned for that but this is just so we can see what they do on you know just normal moderate power and see what kind of uh, DB reading we can get out of it in this full-size SUV so let's get them uh, going and I'll show you guys what they sound like
Let's do some sweeps. Starting out at 15 hertz. Well guys, as suspected, these American Base XRs do not disappoint. Now I have the 12s and some custom boxes I made and they're probably my top four favorite 12s and these 15s sound excellent. Super loud, move a ton of air, fairly accurate, they're not the most accurate, but keep in mind these are 15s. They still sound good with rock, I mean, they'll keep up. Um, electronic music they just sound amazing and these move a ton of air and I don't know if you can see it in the video but they flex my truck more than any other you know the other 15s I've had in here so far so really good bang for your buck you get volume sound quality air movement and you get to rattle stuff, which everybody loves rattling stuff apart, let's face it. So, awesome subs. Um, can't go wrong. These are like 200 bucks a piece. And you guys saw, I was running, you know, 24, 2500 uncertified and 29 dynamic for both of these, and they were pumping. So you don't need a ton of power for these XR15s to get pumping. All right, guys, let's see what these things can do on this setup. One forty-two point forty-seven. Try it one more time. See if we can get a little more out of it. A little bit. One forty-nine. One forty-two point ninety-one. It's pretty good. Forty hertz. All right, guys. We are back. You guys saw the video. I did have these in also for a week and a half to really get the sound into my ears and compare them to the other subs so the final verdict on these hit the lows really well very loud move a lot of air I mean these things you really can feel it in your chest and you know your, your dash shakes and whatnot so they're very impactful move a lot of air go deep the sound quality is really good you know really they hit all the frequencies good they're not peaky nice warm sound um, they're a smooth punchy bass they're not slappy or harsh they're very smooth they struggled a little bit with transient response on like some double bass and metal music and even even some bass music you know where the subs flex on a lot it got a little bit little bit sloppy not bad still good I'm just comparing these to the other ones so I'm being very critical for you guys but excellent sounding subs super loud sound very good um, and I bet these can take way more power these felt like they could use more than the 2500 watt uncertified 2900 dynamic amp that we were using but great sound quality um, my only gripe with these so far is the terminals are way too small you can't even fit two 12 gauges in there so when you're running your jumpers um, and they're a little bit, little bit inaccurate on some music, but if you don't listen to a lot of metal or you're not that picky, I mean, they're excellent sounding subwoofers. So we'll go more in depth on all the differences between the four subs I tested in the $200 price range at the end on the final shootout video. But I hope you guys found this helpful. 
stay tuned and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And thanks so much, guys. And until next time.